Hey guys, this is Azad, and today I'm going to solve a pro problem. The problem says that uh, you have an array, and for each element of the array, you need to find out the next grid element which is present on its right side. Let's say you have four, and the next greater element three is smaller than four. Next greater element for four is six, so six is present here. For three, next greater is six, so six is present here. For six, this is nine. For nine, since nine is the largest number in this array, so we'll simply put minus one over here. And for two, it is four. For four, it is eight. At eight, since it is the last element of the array, so we'll put minus one over here. Okay, so there could be many solutions for this problem. For example, we'll we can apply brute force method in which uh, we'll take uh, two loops, and for each element, uh, we'll uh, we'll see uh, the elements on its right side uh, the elements if uh, the element is greater than this the current element will simply break the loop so the time complexity of this solution will be order of n square but uh, with the help of a stack uh, we can implement this uh, solution in order of n time and uh, order of n space because since we are using a stack and uh, the maximum uh, size of the stack could be this n element so the time complexity will be order of uh, sorry space complexity will be order of n okay so how we we gonna solve this problem so so basically what we're going to do we'll iterate over this array and uh, we have we will have to see uh, uh, if this uh, stack is empty we'll simply insert this current element into this stack or if this stack is not empty and that so if this stack is not empty so we're gonna pop from this stack all those elements which are currently smaller than the current element okay so so the popped element those are smaller than the current element the next greater element of those popped elements will be current element Okay, I guess you guys uh, didn't understand this. So let me uh, implement this algorithm and you'll probably get to know. So we'll see that we have four and since the stack is empty, so definitely uh, I'm just going to insert put over here. We'll push four and again increment our pointer. Okay, <clears throat> now three is here. We'll see if it's stack is empty. No, stack is not em empty. So we'll see, uh, we'll pop all those elements which are lesser than 3 since uh, 4 is larger than 3 so we don't pop anything we simply put uh, push 3 over here okay now increment this pointer now uh, stack is not empty and we'll see we'll pop up all the elements which are uh, lesser than current element that is 6 so 3 is lesser than 6 so at the position of 3 I will put 6 over here so 6 is here and I will pop this element now again 4 4 is uh, lesser than 6 so at the position of 4 we're gonna put 6 over here okay again I will pop 4 now a stack is empty so after doing this operation we'll simply gonna push this current element 6 okay now again i will increment my pointer for 9 we'll see that 6 is smaller than 9 so at the position of 6 we're gonna insert 9 and pop up the 6 and we'll push 9 okay now for 2 since 2 is smaller than the top of the stack so we're gonna insert 2 over here for 4 4 is uh, greater than this top of the stack so at the we'll pop 2 and uh, at the position of 2 we'll put 4 and insert 4 over here okay again we're gonna increment we'll see that uh, current element is greater than this top of the stack so at the position of 4 we're gonna put 8 over here and we'll push 8 right so we we need to pop until unless the stack doesn't become empty or the current element uh, is lesser than this topmost element okay so now <clears throat> so after uh, completing uh, this loop uh, the all those elements which are currently present in the stack will will be those 
uh, for which we we didn't find any next greater element okay for example for 8 and 9 we have minus 1 over here okay so let's try to do the coding part and uh, uh, I'm using uh, Xcode as my ID so let's start the coding process I'm, I'm going to use C++ HTL stack and I'm not going to use array to implement this stack because uh, that's going to take a time and uh, okay let's take integer n and create let's um, we need to create two arrays let's create one a n and next array okay let's input this array AI. so i'm going to um, uh, initialize this next array to minus one so why am i doing this because uh, because for uh, uh, for all the elements which we are popping off and uh, we um, if those uh, we are performing some operation only on those operations which we are popping off so we don't know actually uh, which elements are left into this stack okay so that's why I am putting minus one for for the whole array and also I'm not going to implement it directly for example um, instead of putting this elements over here I am going to put the index of that element. So why am I doing that? Because uh, I need to know the location of this uh, this element. Look, for example, for uh, nine, uh, let's say I had uh, uh, six over here, right? And nine will come. So I need to know. If, uh, Okay, I, I will know that uh, 6 is lesser than 9, but I need to know the location of 6 so that uh, uh, I can place in this next array 9. Okay, so instead of putting 9, I will put in the, uh, 6, I will put 2. Okay, so I will see uh, whether a of 2 uh, is lesser than this current element. Okay, uh, if it is true, then at the position of 2, I will put 9. Right. So let's do this. I will initialize this uh, array to minus one. Okay, let's create a stack. Stack, let's name it S and iterate over the array. We'll see if uh, stack is empty. Okay. Then uh, what we're gonna do is stack is empty we simply push index of the current element that is i okay else we need to pop off the element which are lesser than the current element while not as dot empty okay while stack doesn't become empty um if uh, the current element that is the a of s dot top the element which is present at the top of the stack is lesser than the current element okay so we'll pop uh, instead of popping first we need to assign next of s dot top is equals to current element okay then pop I guess you guys are able to understand s dot pop uh, top will always return the topmost element of the array that is the index and after doing all this else we'll put a break over here it means one of the condition is not satisfied as either the stack has become empty or uh, so this loop is gonna break when a stack will become empty and this uh, else condition will run when this condition fails uh, 
uh, means the current element which is present at the top of the stack is either greater than or equals to the uh, current element okay now after doing all this i will push into this stack this current element that is the index of the current element okay yeah i think this looks good so let's put a return zero over here and um, s dot pop yeah let's try to run this program save build succeeded i will put a let's give the uh, same input 4369248 okay number is 7436924 what was the output printed anything so it's my bad i is less than n i plus plus c out next of i Okay, now <laughs> this should run. <laughs> I forgot. Four three six nine two four eight. Four three six nine two four eight. Yeah, I must have made some mistake. Yeah, so this looks good. And um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys later.